Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video today. Um, so today this video will be on uh, LTS, which just the description of the project is a modification of MCP to provide a long-term service patch for beta 1.7.3. Uh, this is a project that started in modification station some time ago. Uh, it's probably, it's been over probably a year. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it's a great it's a great program setup thing, what that, what have you. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I'll leave a link to it to the uh, GitHub where you can download it in the description. So, you want to go and click on clone or download and then download the zip. So, we'll go ahead and do that now. So, and then while that downloads, you'll also need to get Eclipse. So, download Eclipse and install it. And then, so now that our LTS is downloaded, we'll go ahead and just drag that onto our desktop. And we don't need the browser anymore. So then we will drag this over here. And go ahead and close that out. And we'll go ahead and open up LTS. And we will run the setup.bat. So it will ask you if you would like to run the setup. So yes. And then it will start downloading all of these things that you need. Um, Super great program uh, or setup or that, but I, yeah, I don't even know what to call it. But you know, it's great. It works great. It's amazing. Um, I love it. So this this is this is so much easier than the traditional MCP setup. I recommend this to anybody that is trying to get their foot into just messing around with modding. So now we've been prompted asking us uh, what version we'd like. So um, most of the focus has been on beta 1.7.3 from my understanding, so that's where the most support will be. Um, so we'll just go ahead and type in B1.7.3, click enter, so we'll start downloading more stuff. And then we'll click uh, enter to continue. And then once that's all set up, you just want to go ahead and decompile, which is just a quick process. So. Uh, depending on your computer, obviously, uh, for me, it generally ranges from like a minute, a couple minutes. Um, on my old laptop, it would could be five, maybe ten minutes. I mean, really, when you have like a horrible computer, it'll be longer. If you got a decent computer, it's going to be shorter. And obviously, if you have a monster, it's going to be better. So it's just doing everything that MCP does right now. Um, I believe it will prompt us to ask us if we want to download or install a fixed mod loader file or something of that nature. Yeah, this right here. Uh, do you want to install the fixed class for mod loader? And since we are not using mod loader, we do not. So we're just going to hit them with a no and then enter. It's going to start decompiling the server jar just like MCP. And so that will take another minute or so, probably. So you just go ahead and wait for that to finish. Okay, so once that's finished, you can go ahead and just click uh, Enter to continue. So now that that is all set up, you will want to make sure you have Eclipse installed or whatever you are using. Personally, I use Eclipse. So if you're using any other program, I uh, don't expect a lot of help from me personally because I've only ever used Eclipse. So we'll go ahead and just open up our Eclipse. So now our little Eclipse uh, directory workspace finder thing is nice and open. Now you can do it through this, find your directory, but since I already know what folder I need to go to, I'm going to click on the Eclipse folder. I'm going to click up on the bar. I'm going to copy it. So control C, then I'm going to go over here, I'm going to backspace, and I'm going to control V to paste it, then I'm going to click launch, and then it will start launching um, again, depending on your computer, depending on how long that takes. So it's loading up right now, so you just got to give it a minute, you know, give it a second to just make sure it's building all the workspaces correctly. And alrighty, here we are. Here is our workspace. So, you know, here's all of your stuff. Uh, you know, you just start messing around. Just, you know, delete a bunch of stuff if you want. 
it will cause a, a ton of ton of errors as you can see so don't don't just delete a bunch of stuff but uh, that's how you set up LTS with and use Eclipse anyways um, I know IntelliJ is a pretty big uh, IDE that people are using so I'm gonna look into it and possibly make a video on that if I can figure it out or if someone can tell me how to do it just because I would like to spread more knowledge with everybody and uh, anyways I hope this video was helpful I hope I didn't talk too fast or anything but you know if I did you can always pause it this and that and you can ask questions in the comments but your questions are a lot more likely to be answered if you join the discord modification station uh, is a discord I created over just uh, just a little bit over two years ago um, we turned two like January 3rd I think so it, it, it just just like over two years ago um, it's grown a lot I'll leave a link down in the description to modification station it's a great place for pretty much everything legacy modding we support from pre-alpha to release 1.2.5 we have sections for just about everything um, we try to we try to label things very clearly so if you know um so you know where to ask this or whatever you know it's very easy and i hope to see you there if you have any questions but of course you can leave a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and i'll try to answer it to the best of my ability anyways thank you for watching and goodbye